you went to Australia and lived, I believe, for a couple months, right, in uh, Townsville in Australia, where there is probably, you know, the second highest Bitcoin cash adoption per capita and maybe the highest by total number of merchants and so on uh, after St. Kitts, right, Uh for a, a couple of months so i really want to get your your take on that especially as you also were in st kitts maybe you can compare and contrast your two experiences in those locations well you've been in both places as well right so <laughs> yeah i'm gonna <laughs> you, give you, my you thoughts afterwards I, that's <laughs> yeah, right but uh, i want to i want to hear your take yeah. and then i'll give my take sure sure uh my take uh townsville is great i love townsville uh if i if it were a realistic alternative uh, i'd move I literally just upend myself and move over to Townsville. It's that great. Uh, but it also has like uh, drawbacks. Um, it doesn't have the big chains on. You can't go to the big grocery stores. You have to go to the small mom and pop stores or whatever. Uh, it doesn't have full coverage of everything you need to do. But it has a damn good coverage overall. It... Uh, it has some stale data. So you try to go, you spend your money and some places don't take it anymore, which is a bit of a problem. Um, it has, I think essentially all the people using it down there has been using the bitcoin.com wallet. So if you use something other than the bitcoin.com wallet and there is issues, then no one has a clue. Uh, I, for example, I used a BitPay wallet when I got down there and I had multiple payment failures. And uh, the, the reason turned out that I just had a bug in my wallet. Uh, it rounded the payment number uh, to four decimals where the other wallets did not. And so I ended up sending like 99.9999% of the amount I should have or just slightly more. And uh, yeah, it was not a fun experience to... Uh, to try to explain to them that I'm not trying to defraud you, I just have a bug in my wallet. Uh, they're all nice. Uh, every single person I, I had the issue with, I went back and I talked with again and we sorted everything out and it's all good. And I then switched to Bitcoin.com wallet in order to not have more issues while I was there. 